Explore Tulsa is an opportunity to see behind the scenes of Tulsa's most unique places. To hear the stories of real people who are doing fantastic things and who love living here. We look at the people, places, and events that make Tulsa home. Welcome to a few minutes of Exploring Tulsa. Hi, welcome to Explore Tulsa, where we focus on everything Tulsa and the people who make it a, such a great place to live. We're glad you're here. Thanks for joining us again this week. I'm Austin Morton. And I'm Trish Whitmer. This week, we talked to a professional golfer turned business professional, a gentleman from far, far away who still practices the family business. And a business that has had three starts. And finally, we meet a lawyer who gave it all up to pursue her own business. Business is the focus this week, and we begin by meeting professional golfer Steve Kearney and talk a little bit about hitting the links as a pro. I ended up missing out on some things uh, that my peers were doing, some of my friends. So, uh, you know, they'd call me, hey, we're going out tonight. It's Friday night. What are you doing? I was like, well, I'm, I'm going to go to sleep. You know, I got a tournament next week. Can't be, I need to go practice tomorrow. So it was a 24 7 ordeal. I always liked sports, and my parents encouraged me to go out and play all the sports I could. I really loved playing football, uh, basketball, baseball. So when I was 15, I quit playing baseball at that time and specifically focused on golf. I saw some success playing on the junior high golf team and it kind of fired me up and uh, made me a little more competitive and began to travel around the region to play tournaments. And I saw that it was something I was pretty good at and I uh, continued playing through high school and had success, ended up being the 6A state champion individually in 2008. And so I got recruited by uh, quite a few colleges, ended up choosing to go to Tulsa University where I could uh, get a good education and uh, be able to compete uh, at a national level. And I ended up playing the qualifying school for the Canadian tour and went out and drove my car traveling, playing around Canada for a year, a summer, which felt like a long time. And I had some great experiences along the way. I got to go all the way from the West Coast and Victoria and Vancouver, all the way to the East Coast to Nova Scotia, and play some pretty incredible courses. The people up there are so great too. They, even in the smaller cities, they had such great support for the tournaments and, and the players. They, it's a golfing country, it's a sporting country up there. Enjoyed my time and then I played the PGA Tour Latin America for the past three seasons. So I speak Spanish pretty well and it didn't come easy to me but I ended up learning and uh, really enjoyed my time going down to Guatemala was one of my favorite spots. We would play in Antigua. The course was actually on a volcano. so. It was just a, it was a neat place there and the city was a, an old colonial town and had all sorts of cool culture. So I think it comes down to a mental mindset and a, a drive from within that's going to get yourself to go out and to practice on your own because you have coaches and they can instruct you but they're not going to put in those hours on the range for you. you. You would have to go out and have the initiative and then the competitive drive once you're in those situations. I think golf is a self-motivating sport and most things in the business world require the same motivation. So yeah, I still play once or twice a week and joined out at Meadowbrook Country Club where I um, feel at home. But I, I went and I searched for a job. I studied finance in college and could always see myself uh, working with people on their finances. And I found a great opportunity and partner with Northwestern Mutual. So now I'm working as a financial planner, uh, work with individuals and companies, business owners to help strengthen their financial futures. It's funny how most people are more willing to meet me on the golf course than in the office. It's. Uh, it's pretty interesting there, but uh, yeah, that's a good place to where everybody, we got our guard down, we're having a good time, 
might mention some business, but usually I'm, I'm more focused on my game at that point. <laughs> So it's kind of a, it's a relief for me now, not having to worry about preparing and playing tournaments. So it's more of a fun thing I can do to get away and have a, you know still have some competitive sports in my life. So I'm planning to play the U.S. Open qualifier this coming May, and then possibly something else. Looking forward, and uh, you know I I don't see too many tournaments on the horizon for me, but it's always an opportunity. Most professional people are wanting to develop their golf game, Trish, and this is a guy who plays golf all the time and is now developing his business career. That sounds like a great business plan. I know lots of business professionals who would love to tour the world playing golf. Steve certainly has had an interesting career, and we wish him all the best as he builds his business with Northwestern Mutual. Hey, I'm not sure that Steve ever actually played in Azerbaijan, but that's where our next story started, working a little sidewalk tourist stand and then to Germany, and on to Texas, and finally to Tulsa. We meet Haas. Yes, Haas from the Middle East. So when Explore Tulsa returns in a moment. Let's take a moment to talk about one of the core four supplements, omega-3 fatty acids. Symptoms of omega-3 fatty acid deficiency include fatigue, poor memory, heart problems, mood swings or depression, and poor circulation. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential for human health, yet the body can't make some of them. You have to get them through the food that you eat. So there are some great omega-3 sources, which include salmon, tuna, and halibut, or you can use a healthy supplement. When you are looking for an omega-3 supplement, make sure that it contains EPA and DHA, that those two things make up the majority of the supplement you are buying. To get the exact omega-3 supplement that we take, along with a 15% off coupon, visit SherwoodWellness.tv core4. Hey, thanks for joining us for another segment. Now this story is about a guy named Haas who sells magic flying carpets and sails over the city each night. Not even, Trish. While I'm sure there's some magic in his carpets, he keeps his feet firmly on the ground. <laughs> Persian rugs are a thing of beauty and some can take literally years to weave by hand. And the symbolism can be amazing. We met and talked with Haas who came to Tulsa from Azerbaijan and is a curator of fine Persian rugs. Hundreds and hundreds of fine rugs and carpets fill up his shop on Peoria. I was born in Azerbaijan. I was born in a town not too far from uh, Caspian Sea. My father is a dentist and his parents was, they were just farmers. In our village, most people made rocks in winter time. But uh, I, I learned it from, uh, from the tourists that used to come to our country. Uh, our house was in capital next to the rug bazaar. I think it was something that people did in villages uh, now and then um, f for their own use. Nothing fancy. After a while, my father helped me and my brother, we bought a small shop and uh, we started selling rugs to tourists. Well, the business was very good for us. We made it uh, very quickly. Uh, but after the, the government changed, um, my brother, who was a year older, we got separated and I left the country and I came to Germany and I was working in the right place as a salesperson helping and then a dealer from US from Houston Texas came over there to visit and, and buy stuff and he liked me he just told me I can go and if I want to work for him so I came here 1982-3, then I worked with him for 11 years, and then I moved here. There are people come from overseas and they take our orders. That's how the new rugs come, all the new color new rugs. The antique rugs, 
That's a very difficult thing. I can repair rugs as well. I can clean, stain, dog stain, any kind of stain. Valuable makes it valuable because of the demand. Makes it fine because of the workmanship. Basically, there is a loom, a rectangular loom, and first they put a string around the loom, very close to each other, like that. And then they put some strings going like a zigzag into this, in a few row, and then they start taking a yarn and knotting it over these foundations. And the Persians rocks, they have two foundation on the top of each other. So it's not like that, it's like this. And they weave it over that. That make, is the best way to make the rock. Time oxidizes these natural colors and just turns it to some, some of them are like art. It's just more than a rock, you know, the antique ones. I like Tulsa. It's a small town and I don't like big towns. I don't like the traffic. I love Tulsa. Trish, what this place needs is a Persian rug. Every place needs a finely woven Persian rug. We are changing our look a little bit. Ooh, what if we hung a magic carpet as a backdrop for us? You know, we've been looking at options and I think that just might be a solution for us. He's gonna dig out the toolbox while we take a small break and we'll be right back with more Explore Tulsa in a moment. Hi, I'm Graham Oates with Video Revolution and I'm gonna show you some great sound systems for your home. So people actually want a great sounding system because they wanna feel like they're in the movie. So they wanna be able to hear vocal. You wanna be able to hear if something's coming up behind them and they actually wanna be able to hear the low end from the subs. Klipsch can put an orchestra in your living room or an entire rock concert in your cranium. Klipsch lets you live the music. Clips actually a high-end brand that gives you an entry level at price-wise. A 5.1 setup is the most common and effective home theater speaker configuration. The term itself stands for five full range speakers, plus a subwoofer to handle the very low frequencies. The five speakers are arranged in the room to put you in the middle of the action. The sounds can then move to the different speakers so they follow the action on the screen. Handling the lower end bass sounds is the subwoofer. It can be placed almost anywhere. In order to fully enjoy 5.1 sound with Klipsch passive speakers, you'll need an AV receiver. It makes sure the correct sounds are going to the correct speakers. Your receiver is like your heart of your system. So everything feeds into your receiver and then it actually separates it from there. We carry the Yamaha brand. We have multiple different receivers in there. Connect your favorite speakers to the receiver's discrete high current power amplifiers and experience the natural sound you have come to expect from Yamaha. Yeah, we'll actually come to the house, we'll actually pre-wire the house for you, set everything up for you, program everything for you, and then we'll give you a nice walkthrough to make sure that you can actually understand everything that we have done for you. So if you're excited about sound, come and see us at Video Revolution and we will hook you up. Thanks for coming back to Explore Tulsa. I didn't find an antique Persian rug, but I did do a quick upgrade during the break. What do you think? Mm, well, it's different. Maybe we'll experiment a little while and see what happens. Keep that tool belt handy. It's always close by. Next up, we meet the guys who deliver lunch to me every day, always served up fresh and ready to mm, eat. Ryan's business went through several iterations before he finally settled into this business plan, and it's a good one. And a unique one. We sit down with the Hungry Ninja next on Explore Tulsa. I'm actually not really a food guy and that's where the business stemmed from because my buddy who is a caterer by trade, uh, about six years ago I approached him to actually do my meal prep. I was going to get back into the gym, I needed someone to cook my food since I don't cook and so I approached him to do it for me and he said no. <laughs> and uh, so I just went back and kind of decided well what if I made it a business? Maybe he would say yes, 
And so I took it back to him as a business and he said yes to it. And so we started out putting meat in Ziploc bags and very, very archaic way of doing it. Uh, it was super simple, but it allowed me to get my food when I was going to the gym. Tried it under a couple different company names. Never really gained any momentum. Wasn't able to establish ourselves in the Tulsa market at all. Uh, I made some critical errors in marketing and strategy, boxing us into fitness a little bit too much. And so anytime anyone heard anything about fitness meals, they were immediately turned off just because they thought it tasted horrible. It was you know, the misconception of what fitness food is and the fact that you know, if it's healthy, it must taste bad. But given my buddy's culinary talents and his skill and ability to be able to make food taste awesome, I just brought the macros, the nutritional guidelines, you know, the non-negotiables as far as nutrition was concerned, and said, how can we make it still taste awesome? And so that was the, the marriage of the two, and that's kind of where it all started. We started the Hungry Ninja March of last year, and our core business is basically to fill the gap in your routine so that it helps uh, you to stay on point. Um, there's bad decisions that you make throughout the week because you don't have time or it's inconvenient. And so we're there to be able to fix those for you, to be able to kind of cover, so to speak. And so moving to the subscription-based format, we feel is gonna be a lot more beneficial because in a way, we're helping them help themselves. Because now it just shows up every week, they don't have to think about it, they don't have to concern themselves with it. And now when they find themselves about ready to make a bad decision, they don't need to because they have that good decision that's sitting there waiting for. We source all our food locally. We source all of our food fresh. We actually don't get the food for orders until the day before it's delivered. We do all the prepping, all the preparing, all the cooking, and then the day of, we package everything and then send it out for delivery. Our customer base is really anyone who eats, uh, but we have business professionals that are super busy all the time. We have you know, the families that have kids that are in 15 different sports and so they're just constantly busy. It has a, they have a very hectic lifestyle. We have retired folks who just don't want to cook. They don't want to go to the store. They don't want to have to clean. Uh, single people, very similar situation. They don't want to cook and clean and go through the hassle of all that. So they just want to be able to come home, pull a meal out of the fridge, heat it up and go. And we actually have a four week rotating menu that's on our site and people have the option to either let us select their meals for them at random based on what we have available, or they can go on each week, select those meals that they want, and then they can send them to us either by phone call, text, email, any number of different ways. So we do deliver right to your home or office, and since we are not some big corporation or franchise or a small local company, we're very flexible in the way that we do our delivering. Um, our delivery driver texts within 30 minutes of arrival. But in saying that, we also do several unique things. Um, we will put it in a cooler that they provided with ice packs on their front or back porch. We have garage codes to put in their garage refrigerator. They will, um, through technology, let us into their house and we go put it in their fridge. Sometimes we feed the dog. Uh, we'll leave it with neighbors. There's a lot of different things that we do and we get to know our clients and they get to know us and so we just kind of work around whatever their schedule might be. It's like a white glove style of service that we provide. Now you know I have the Ninja prepare my meals. Always awesome real food and I get to choose what I want day to day. It leaves you plenty of time for your active social life. Cooking and cleaning is way overrated. Check out thehungryninja.com to make your life a little simpler. Oh, tell them I sent you and I may get an extra chocolate peanut butter razzmatazz or two. And you'll share, right? Up next, we chat with a self-proclaimed recovering attorney to see what motivates her now and why. When Explore Tulsa returns. Hi, Dr. Robert Zellner here. For over 20 years, I've offered affordable, convenient eye care in Tulsa. Right now, you can get one pair of glasses or contact lenses starting at just $99 or my two-pair deal for $129. Hey, and as always, the eye exam's included. Walk-ins are always welcome. 
glasses are ready in about an hour. Plus, we have over 2,000 frames to choose from. We're open seven days a week. Come see why we're voted Tulsa Best. And our drive through at 69th and Memorial makes pickup simple and easy. For the best eye care value in Tulsa, Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates. Welcome back for our fourth story. Trish, this whole show has been about business and this segment is no different. What happens when an attorney decides to give up her practice and pursue a new venture? That's not the lead into a great joke. It's the real life story of Diana Clark. I'm already past where I just knew I would retire. That was several years ago, so. I don't know, I really love this store. It's really hard for me to think about tearing myself away from it. My son owns the store with me and he manages it pretty much. <laughs> like he says, I manage it till mama's there. And um, I just can't quite imagine not being involved with the mustard seed, especially because it's the way I get to see my son. I was a lawyer. I'm a recovering lawyer. <laughs> and I decided to close my law firm and I bought um, the name and the location of the Mustard Seed Door gift shop. And when I started having that retail shop, designers came to me and asked me to open a consignment shop. And I told them I didn't know anything about it, and they said, you don't need to know anything, you just need to know what not to do. So they made me a list, and um, we started this as a little side business, and it swallowed everything. We had to close down the retail store and go full-time into consignment. Our biggest selling category is actually art off the wall which was very surprising to me when I was running reports, but it's been that way for about three years. We have a lot of beautiful oil paintings. They're just way less than you could buy them for. And a lot of people think we ca must carry a lot of antiques, but we don't carry very many antiques. We do carry some country French and things that are unique and that will sell but your run-of-the-mill like Victorian antiques, we don't even take. I know what will sell. The majority of our furniture is traditional. It's um, beautiful, high-end, traditional items that would go with a lot of styles of decor. We also carry a lot of modern, mid-century, contemporary furniture and we have a room dedicated to that, but it sells real fast, so people don't realize how much of it we've handled. We got a giant black wood carved African head, and a man came in one day and he said, that's my tribe, that's my people. And I said, how do you know? We knew it was authentic, it had come from Sotheby's but it had three marks on each cheek and he was so passionate about that and I knew he was who he was. He wasn't trying to deceive me and he wanted it so bad we made arrangements where he could get it and when he came to get it he came with his two sons and they did a ceremony over it to purify it before they took it home. And we finally ended up wrapping it in a Persian rug to keep it safe, but they had brought special liquid with leaves in it and they cleansed it all over the outside and stood out around this pickup and prayed. And I was just so thrilled that that statue was going home. It's service and atmosphere. That's what we sell. And people know that if they get a lamp home and it doesn't light up, bring it back, we'll give you your money back. We don't operate along a hard line. We do what's right. And that's turned out very well for us. And we have a motto, have fun at the mustard seed. 
we encourage everybody to just come in for the fun of it and look around so they never feel pressured or like, oh, I've been in there five times and haven't bought anything. I better not go in there again. We just want them to have fun. And that seems to work very well also. I'm thinking about giving up being a TV celebrity and becoming a Maytag repairman. Everybody loves the Maytag repairman, and I don't even know what that is. First, find a day job, buddy. Then keep that day job. Words of wisdom from my heart to you. Ouch, I have a day job. Have you not been listening to me this whole time? Um, sure, of course. Well, on that note, we're gonna take a break and come back in a moment and wrap up this week. Take charge of your health. We are what we put into our bodies. We approach medicine from a unique standpoint. Rather than treating only the symptoms of an illness, we work to find the root cause and promote wellness of the entire body. Our clinic offers complete assessment and treatment programs, including hormone replacement therapy, osteopathic manipulative therapy, and genetic DNA testing. It all starts with a medical evaluation. Contact us today to begin your path to wellness. I want to get a new TV. There's like a thousand different brands, all with different features. I wish I could make sense of it all. What do you think is best? <laughs> You should go to Video Revolution. Their experts will tell you everything you need to know. They carry the latest LED and 4K TVs and will even install it and set it up for you too. She's right. You wouldn't talk to anyone but your dentist about your bicuspid. So when it comes to home entertainment, only trust the experts at Video Revolution. Located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us each week as we look around Tulsa and meet the most interesting people. Yes, thank you for being a part of what we do each week. We couldn't do this without our sponsors, so we take a moment to say thanks to Drs. Michelle and Mark Sherwood at Functional Medical Institute, home of Whole Body Wellness. And to Video Revolution, where you'll find all your home and business technology solutions. Thanks also to Dr. Zellner Associates, Tulsa's best eye care value. If you want to explore a little on your own, over 1,600 of our stories are on our YouTube channel or go to exploretulsa.com, enough to keep you entertained for a long while. A quick shout out to this week's guest, Steve Carney, Haas and his Persian rugs, my own personal hungry ninja, and all the good people at the Mustard Seed. Get in touch with us with any comments, or if you know someone who needs to be on here, we're always watching for interesting stories. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time, right here on Explore Tulsa.